Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look at the asset disposal and recognition of respective gain or loss depending on the situation. So our story was that we bought a trailer a month ago for a thousand dollars, we depreciated it for seventeen dollars and next month due to inflation and supply shortages we were able to sell it for cash for two thousand so obviously we recognize some big gains so let's take a look what we have in quickbooks so we have a trailer here for one thousand dollars we have accumulated depreciation on that tra trailer seventeen dollars and we sell it for two thousand so the balancing entry $1,017 will go to the credit, to the gain and loss on sale of assets. So let's see, let's see how we can do that entry in the QuickBooks. So I, I kind of already did it here, but I will, I will repeat it just to make sure everyone is on the same page so we we do that entry through a uh, journal entry so yeah it's here so we select cash we received cash uh, we pick accumulated depreciation trailer so we received 2000 in cash 17 dollar for accumulated depreciation uh, we remove trailer from the from our fixed assets a thousand dollar credit and we book the difference I remove the amount here so you see it doesn't balance for one thousand seventeen dollars and so I put one thousand seventeen dollars into the gain and or loss on sale of assets so that that account it's not it's not in the QuickBooks by default so I, I, I had to create it and the best I was able to find uh, was uh, other income, other investment income and I just name it gain and loss. So it's here, here is the entry, it's currently in the 2022 but we disposed of the assets in December so I will change it to December but let's review our financials before before the disposal so before the disposal I have a thousand dollar in trailer here in fixed assets and seventeen dollars in accumulated depreciation uh, then on statement of cash flows I have a thousand dollars outflow for that trailer and uh, in the income statement I have no reflection of anything okay so now let's change the entry to December 31st and save it. Let's go to the balance sheet. You see the trailer is zeroed out, so we dispose of it correctly. Accumulated depreciation zeroed out. Now in income statement, we got that other income gain loss on sale of assets a thousand seventeen dollars. So everything seemed about right here but when we go to the cash flow statement we see that in the trailer we have zero now so it's it's some kind of flow in the quickbooks online so we in ideal world in the right cash flow statement we should we must show that cash outflow for the trailer and then we must show cash inflow from uh, sale of assets. So we, we should have seen a $2,000 cash inflow here and a $1,000 cash outflow here. Unfortunately, uh, so that cash flow statement is not built based on accounting standards so it's some of the drawbacks but as a small business you probably won't need quickbooks online to comply with all of the accounting statements but if you run uh, if someone is requires you to 
build your financials based on US GAAP, you need to pay attention to such details. So as you can see, the disposal of a trailer is not correctly reflected. Uh, you can re review my lectures um, on cash flow statement and on property plan and equipment to get further insight into the uh, property plan and equipment and into the cash flows. Thank you and have a great time studying accounting.